Hello again my friends, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to look at a new radio. We're going to look at a Radtel. Yep, it's not about Fang. Surprise, surprise. So this is the Radtel RT-480. A uh, 5 watt rated radio with a big battery. It's rated at 2800 milliamp hour. I've not had an opportunity to test the battery, but from the size uh, of the battery, I'm going to go with the fact that, yeah, it probably is a 2800 milliamp hour. It looks like a pretty solid, heavy battery. It's a nice radio. It has a very good feel in the hand, and there's nothing, nothing plasticky about this radio. It feels very pro-grade. It feels very solid. It is heavy and a little bit chunky and clunky, but it does give you that comfort of it being a really pro-grade uh, level radio. It does not have a USB charging port, which is kind of odd because all the newer radios seem to be coming out with that. This one does not, but it does come, of course, with its charging uh, cradle, so that's not an issue. Another nice thing about this is this one has 256 memory positions, as opposed to the standard 128 you get on most uh, Baofengs. Um, this was a little bit more expensive than the Baofengs. I think it came in about $40, and I, if I remember, I got this from AliExpress, I think, or something like that. So, uh, it does come with a cradle. It comes with a lot of its accessories. One of the other odd things that uh, kind of got me is this does not have a K cable programming capability. There's a single post cable that you need to have for this radio. Uh, of course, this radio will not program with Chirp, unfortunately, so you cannot use Chirp to program it. You cannot cut and paste from your other radios and put them into this. You have to download the Radtel specific uh, software for this radio, which you can get on the Radtel site. And then you have to pretty much enter everything by hand. You cannot cut and paste your information from Chirp or other radio that you might have. So it's pretty much going to be one by one as you enter everything. Uh, now the battery clip on this is interesting. It clips on to the actual body rather than the battery. It screws on there and it screws on a metallic part of the case. So I'm going to assume that's going to be very, very solid and not go anywhere. Um, very standard features. You turn it on. It has a very nice screen. Screen is very legible. Characters are very clear to see on it. Uh, it does have the dual standby features, uh, pretty much uh, like most of the radios. Let me see if I can get that screen to show up. And I'm afraid that is not going to be the case. I'm not going to be able to see the screen. But you can see it does have a lighted keypad, um, so it's easy to access. The screen is very legible. It's very programmable. The characters are easy to read. It's well set up. Now, I also tested the antenna that came with this. This is oddly an interesting antenna. It's a little bit different than most of the other more uh, rubber ducky harder. This is actually a softer rubber ducky. It looks a lot like a 701 from Nagoya. It does test very well. It's very low on the SWR, so it does seem to be a decent antenna that comes with it. I just kept this one on, although I've tried other antennas on it, I just went ahead and kept this one on there because it seems to work just fine. I also like the uh, orange push to talk button. Now, don't ask me why I like that, I just kind of do. It's, it makes it kind of nice. Um, one of the things I didn't care for is it has an alphanumeric keypad. So the keypad, unlike um, most Baofengs is actually a lot like a uh, an older phone keypad where you have the letters, three letters for each number. Uh, I'm assuming that's to make it easier to do entry on the keypad, although I have not tried to enter alphanumeric characters on the keypad, so I don't know if you can do that or not. Um, I think the instruction manual did not actually give any detail on that particular aspect of it. Um, but, I mean, you can still get through to run your scan functions and so on, which is fine. But again, it's just, I think you get used to something and then you just want to do it and you can't, so it kind of seems a little odd. Well, it's a nice little radio. I mean, if you want a solid feeling radio in your hand and you're comfortable moving away from Baofeng for whatever reason, you want to pay uh, an extra $10, you can get a fairly decent uh, solid radio to use. I've tried it on multiple bands and it works just fine, so no issues on this. 
Um, all right, that's going to be it. Short and sweet. Uh, just getting to the point on this particular radio. Uh, I'd appreciate it very much if you would uh, subscribe. It helps the algorithm a lot. Um, and uh, thanks for watching.